Hello guys, Wahoo here, back with another video. This time around we are building the Fate Trickster. And the Fate Trickster is an awesome little class that actually got reworked uh, some time ago. So it's a little better but now and uh, it's just, it's kind of awesome actually uh, if you are into it and, and whatnot. But the Fate Trickster is a magic damage character so you want to get as much magic damage as you can get. And also the closest you can get to, of course, to 100% crit. Uh, better to be a little over than a little under, but you know, just go as, if it's like a 10% you're going to be over instead of, you know, being just like 0 0.3 under then for sure yeah uh, definitely go with the little bit under and of course you want to get as much critical damage as you can get so uh talking about the abilities of the um of the uh what's it called uh, the fate trickster uh, is that you can blink with your number one ability it leaves a decoy it's not strong enough for u9 so don't use it in u9 but you'll see that the glitter bombs are pretty awesome does a good amount of damage but it's all about the um it's all about the fate tricksters uh, outro attacks that's all it really does so the, when you haven't taken damage you have like a shield around you you can't see it right now but it will show if you take damage it'll take a shield off and if you don't have the clash gem uh, you are actually going to have uh, you know uh, what's it called uh, only one shield and so when you get hit by like just one you're gonna lose most of your damage but uh, if you have the clash gym, it's going to give you two of them. That's why you can see it on the passives. So uh, if it, it takes no damage for two seconds, it, the basic attack is going to get that shield. But if you take damage, uh, you have to actually, when you do have the clash gym, you do have to get hit twice before it takes off the extra damage that you do. Because it's all about really the uh, auto attack. You can throw in some glitter bombs, but you don't want to look for like energy regen or for, for the, like the uh, Fate Tricks. I'll talk about that some more. But it's all about the attack speed. So it's all about just getting a lot of attack speed and abilities from attack speed and uh, abilities that give you attack speed and just auto attack. And of course not getting hit by damage. But now that you do have the um the class gym you're not gonna just do some one random damage is not gonna like completely take your damage away but it's, it's just gonna take one of the shields away and that's it's gonna regen the next shield and then you're gonna have two shields again and basically that's how you do your damage so for other uh, gems you can use the explosive that's pretty awesome you can also use a pyro disc if you want to do that but any ones actually kind of works for this uh, for here, you want to use the uh, Berserk Battler because of the stagging attack speed buff that you get. So you want to have that. Again, you want to have much attack speed as you can get. You can also use the uh, Vampiric, I guess, but the Battler is just way, way better. All right, so for subclass, you want to have the Lunar Lancer. The Lunar Lancer buff is awesome because it, it procs off the auto attacks, but also it gives you that extra attack speed and damage reduction is not bad either but you want to have that mostly have that you know lunar lancer buff for the attack speed that's really what you are looking for in these subclass you can use other ones as well because you do don't get as much out of the 750 physical damage but uh, i would suggest that this is the best one because it it does give you that extra uh, attack speed on a 20 percent proc or 25 percent depending on your uh, you know on how much the powering of your lunar lancer is so for gear, uh, you do want to look for, uh, you know, uh, you want to look for a little bit of energy regen, but you mostly want to look for that crit hit, crit damage and attack speed. I should probably change this into attack speed. But like I said, a little bit of energy regen. You also get some from dragons and stuff like that. But a little bit of energy regen is nice, but you, basically it's all about your uh, uh, auto attack that you are using. So my other, uh, <laughs> my other uh, it's not perfect, but my... my my, my flat, my, well, I'm sorry, my staff is basically what you want to look for. So for a ring, you also want to look for magic damage and you want to look for that crit hit to get as close to 100% uh, as you can get, of course. Uh, you can also go with jumps after that if you don't have. You can also go with some energy gem if you want to throw out some more bombs and stuff like that. That's definitely also a uh, reason. So next one you want to use is the Kuromancer Cubesley. Any... Any ally that gives you uh, any ally that gives you 20% magic damage is what you want to look for because that's going to be damage on your auto attack. Uh, all magic damage is going to basically be more damage uh, on your auto attack. So any uh, ally that gives you 20% is awesome. The 20% 20% damage uh, or sorry the cooldown reduction doesn't really it's not that awesome. The your uh, ultimate is pretty cool, but uh it's, it's not that much damage compared to just auto attacking and stuff like that so if you can get something else uh, in the future or something like that that has 
another then cooldown reduction, but still gives you 20% match damage. You should definitely, definitely get that one instead. So that's that's basically the, the ally you want to uh, look for. So for flash, you want to go for death defying. Uh, make sure you get that one. Uh, you can use any flask you want. You're not going to use flasks that often, but uh, I would rather mostly go with the death defying. But you could go with any, uh, you know, any flask you want to uh, do so. So for emblems, you want to go for, uh, of course, the arcane. That's a that's a given because of the extra magic damage. And for your second, uh, uh, you know, uh, emblem, you can go whatever you really want to. You of course you want to go for the sure strike if you have a less than twenty percent. Uh, you know, if you have less than 20% um, critical hit, then you want to go for that. But if you get over 80%, it doesn't get that good. And you can summon some of these other, uh, you know, allies and stuff like that. The Actually, the Berserker emblem is pretty cool as well because you don't could use your abilities that much. But if it interferes with you actually reaching 100 energy again, you want to kind of uh, not have this so you can't use it. So you are kind of wasting DPS in the sense of you can't use your abilities. So you can use the, this one, but I would you know, probably look for something like the unwielding or one of the allies you can summon and stuff like that is probably like better to do so. The Chromatic Cubes, I don't want to go for that one either because you're not going to use your flash that often. And also your ultimate is not that good, for example. So, and the other ones are, well, not on cooldown. So uh, yeah, you don't really need to, to, to do so. So I think I talked about everything that was needed to talk about in this video. The the um, the fate trickster itself is pretty straightforward. It's just auto attack. So just get as much you know get to the to that one hundred percent you know crit hit. Get as much magic damage uh, and crit damage as you can get. Uh, and that's basically it. There's not really much more to to talk about in the fate trickster. It's a super good class, uh, especially after they may rewrote at least the. Uh, what's it called? The uh, gym class, uh, gym class, <laughs> the gym, a uh, class gym. That's what I said. But I had to move those two around. But yeah, uh, I think that's enough what, uh, about the you know the fate trickster. Just out attack your way through life, and that you are going to be good. So with that said, of course, if you have any question, put them down in the comments. Also, if there's something I missed or anything like that, make sure you type it down there as well. So people can go down there and check that all out and also check out the description. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.